Hey everyone, this is Fire Dragon of Forum, and you may have seen this Anthem ability damage chart floating around between Reddit and Twitter these past couple of weeks. Well, I'm the creator of that chart, and it just got a big update. If you want to check out the most recent version of the chart, have a look in the description below for links. It's a handy tool to have to plan your builds and know what abilities do when playing Anthem. Also, a quick thing while watching this video, you may see two icons, a circular one, this represents primer abilities, and a starship, which represents detonator abilities. Primers add elemental effects to enemies and prime them for comboing. Detonators combo off primed enemies and cause a special effect. If an ability has neither, then that is a pure damage ability. Now that's all out of the way, let's dive into all the abilities. Today, we're going to look at the Storm Javelin and its multitude of devastating elemental abilities. Let's begin by looking at the Blast Seals. First up is Lightning Strike. This ability unleashes a detonating electrical strike in a targeted area. Any enemies caught in the strike who are primed by another ability will find themselves being detonated for a combo. Moving on to Ice Storm, an ability which can be held down to continuously damage an area with ice elemental blasts and prime enemies within. Flame Burst, a pure damage ability that explodes with fire damage within the targeted area. This ability doesn't prime or detonate enemies for combos, but it does high damage to enemies caught within its burst. This is Ice Blast. It hurls huge chunks of ice that deal damage and freeze enemies hit by one of these chunks. These enemies become prime targets for a detonating ability. And finally, for Blast Seals, we have Living Flame, which is a fiery orb that flies between targets, igniting them, perfect for following up with a detonating ability to do some high damage. Next, let's move on to Focus Seals. The old classic Frost Shards is up first. This is a rapid fire ability which shoots out shards of ice that slowly freeze a target. And yep, that means it primes the target. Here's Burning Orb, one of my personal favorites. You have five charges which can be thrown out quickly, or better yet, held down to charge up for a massive projectile that explodes on impact. As you can tell, this is a pretty versatile detonating ability and just looks cool too. This is Shock Burst, a ball of electricity which can be bounced off walls to reach those hard to hit enemies. This also applies the electric elemental effect so enemies can be detonated after they're struck by it. Glacial Spear fires a beam of powerful ice energy at your enemies, which can detonate primed targets. And last but not least is Arc Burst, a pure damage ability which unleashes a bolt of lightning that shoots out of your target and then leaps to nearby enemies for lots of damage. Now we've looked at the main damaging abilities, let's take a look at the Storm's support seals. Here's Wind Wall, a barrier that blocks all enemy projectiles, but you can still fire through it freely. And then there's Quickening Field, a spherical field that when inside reduces the cooldown on abilities for yourself and any allies who are inside the field too. There's two more things the Storm can do we haven't talked about yet. It's Melee Attack, Fiery Strike, which detonates on impact with primed enemies. And finally, there is of course, its crazy ultimate ability, Elemental Storm, which can prime targets and then detonate them. Elemental Storm unleashes an onslaught of ice, electric, and fire area of effect attacks, which devastates all enemies caught within the ultimate's targeted area. As I said at the start of the video, all the information in this video is in an easy to see form with my ability damage chart. You can grab that in the description so you have a quick and easy image to reference back to with all the abilities we've talked about in this video today. If you've watched this video after Anthem has been released and you see ability names have different names, this is due to their names changing between the demo and the full release. You should still be able to figure out which ability is being talked about by the footage. Thanks again for watching everyone and I'll see you in the world of Anthem.